Well, we've got ourselves a nice tank full of live baits and picked a position here. We're gonna wait for the tide change last of the run out and then it'll start to run in and, and fish that run in tide. So ready to go. What we need to do is, uh, is get our, our rig together. So I've got some 60 pound leader here. I'll just cut that off. Get a couple of hooks. These are 8 O's. They're a great hook, these ones. I use these ones for chasing all sorts of uh, big critters. So a couple of 8 O's. And what we're gonna tie is a snooted rig. So that's two hooks in a row. So feed our leader down through the eye of the hook, wrap it around the shank about a dozen times, back through the eye, and then pull that down nice and tight. And then that tag end that we have left, we'll tie a blood knot, a little bit of, uh, little bit of saliva on there to lubricate it so we don't overheat the knot, pull that down, and then that's our two hooks. And make sure you get that spacing right, depending on the size of the live bait, because you want to pin one through the nose, other one through the tail. And what we do is we add another swivel with a looper line, and that allows our sinker to slide up and down, and we can change that to suit the conditions. Fishing for Mulloway, or a lot of big, uh, big hard pulling species, you do have to sort of strengthen the tackle up a little bit. So I've got a, a six to 12 kilo rod here. I've got another one there that's an eight to 12 kilo rod. So you need something with a lot of power. You do need to pull hard. We're in some pretty rough terrain here. There's rocks, they're gonna wanna get there. They're gonna wanna put my, my line in there and get rub, and rub me off. So it's important to be able to pull hard. 30 to 50 pound braid. Braid's really good because no stretch. You can steer the fish and try and turn the fish out. And at least a 6,000 size spin reel, six to 8,000 or if you want to fish with overhead gear. So it's up to you really, but nice solid rod, big spinner like that. Make sure your drag set right, so I'll just make sure I've got that drag set perfectly for what I'm looking for, which is about a third the breaking strain of the line generally, but look at the weight of the rod. So a six to 12 kilo rod, you probably want to run about four and a half kilos of drag on that. And then I've got that bait runner uh, with this reel anyway, where I can, I can flick that down and that lets the bait smoke off into gear, and then I'm back to my normal drag setting. So they are good for live bait fishing, there's no doubt about that, or big bait fishing. All right, all we need is a livey, clip him on, cast it out, and we're in business. All right, so we've got our, uh, our live bait, our maybe not so willing candidate, I should say. Just gotta make sure, so our snooted hook is our front hook, and we're just gonna pop him. There's a few different places you can put them. But, but I like to put them just behind the head, either there, whoop. so he's sitting there like, like so, or just in the, in the actual nose. And then that back hook, we have that just slightly pinned uh, in front of the tail. So one there, one there, and, and then he can sit with his head in the current, it's important. If you put them around the other way, they will die pretty quick, simply because they don't have their head in the current. So he's wriggling and ready to go. What we're gonna do now is cast him out and uh, see something will happen. Oh. Oh, got something there anyway. If I can see my leader, it's really dirty water. So we'll just see what we've got here. And it's a poor Jackson shark of all things. I was hoping it was a mulloway. Oh, there he goes. Oh. And there he is. <laughs> He's a poor Jackson shark. I don't usually want to, don't usually like bringing them on board if I don't have to, but he's, uh, he's got himself a bit tangled up. Let's get him back in the drink. And we'll see you another day, buddy. Off you go. Woo, <laughs> a fair bit of weight to him, that fella. <laughs> Not what I was looking for, but certainly break the monotony. Well, if there's three things that Mulloway like, it's low light and it's slowly getting darker. The sun will be setting not too far away. They like a tide change and we're not too far off that last of that run out tide. It'll turn, start to push in. I might have to re-anchor and lay back the other way and they love live bait. And we've got those three things. Two are on their way. The live baits are down. So it's just a matter of sitting back, being patient and waiting for those Mulloway to come along and, uh, and, and have a crack. Wow. Now that's a screaming run. If this is a Mulloway, it's a good fish. Big violent head shakes. This is the nervous part. Our live bait, oh, gee, big head shakes. Took a massive run down that way, unbelievable run. Smoked me up, slowing down now, but the big head shakes, which makes me think I could be in luck and it could be a mull away. But just grab my net, it's around here. I'm trying to be a bit prepared. Oh, I'm hung up, hang on, stay there, mull away. 
Come on, I. I met here. Big head shakes. Oh, there you go. Up you come, mate. Come on. Try and steer him down to the bottom corner of the boat here. Got the wind going one way, the tide going the other. It's certainly not ideal. And what it's meant is that uh, we're fishing back up the anchor rope. Just trying to get him up, poke him up. I can see my leader, so he can't be too far off. So let's just take our time over to Mulloway. Can't quite see. Cameron will put. Oh, I think it's a big one actually. Woo! Righto. See if I can get that net. It's going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. Uh, come on, big fella. Come on, big fella. Oh. Yes! Oh. Grab a glove and give you a look at him. That's a beautiful fish up around that, oh, I don't know, up around that 18 to 20 kilo mark, a 40 pounder. Beautiful big fish. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful big mulloway. Isn't that have a look in that mouth there, you can hear him, hear him croaking away. And they're such a predator, so those big sharp teeth. And uh, he's been heading along the bottom there and he's found my, uh, my live bait and thought, that's dinner for me. Check that out, there's some serious weight about that one there. He's probably about 1.2 metres long, yeah, up around that 20 kilos or 40 pound. And that's a beautiful fish. Windy night, tough conditions but it all pays off. Preparation's the key. I had my net there. I had, uh, had the right sort of live bait. We had bait spread out, we've anchored in the right spot, and it's all come together. All right, well that's, uh, that's live baiting for Mulloway. And I gotta tell you, it doesn't right at this point. Mulloway fishing doesn't get a lot better than what it does right at this minute. Great stuff. What a beautiful fish, look at that kick. Oh, big fish. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. 